the book of Psalms 32, and uh, for the sake of those who are not there, in particular, verse 6 to verse number 9, the only study about to be the Gatia Sal. Now, to Kaona Yakwaka, Mutu and Apaswa Kuomba, one in the seasons that are given by God. Majira Ida Kulepewa, wherever Yakwaka Kuna Yakati is a Kuomba, one as Pesan. Amen. So, number one in the seven, you pray in the season. One as we say. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, one katika majira. Number two, you are supposed to pray as you are required to pray at that particular time. Ni jamogani ya paro unasahili kuriombe na pia kuriombe katika majira. One as we say. Na nikapeana mifano ambayo itakusaidia. Nitasema ya kwamba hakuna aibu kubwa kama kuja na maji wakati moto umechoka kila kitu. Moto ulitoka kila kitu lakini ndio wewe huyu na mikungi na maroni ya maji. Haikusaidia. Kile tulikuwa tunataka kuokoa kisha pekeketea kisha unoka. Bwana tukuzo. So in this life ni lazima ufike mahali kuelewa ya kwamba there are things unastahili kuomba and you can only be prayed at a particular time. Hallelujah. Eh jambo lingine tulisema ni kwamba kuna maeneo ya kuombea. Na ninafikiri kuna jambo moja ambalo nitaongoza, nitaongeza na ili uweze kushika zaidi. One of the key things katika maombi ama maombi yake unapaswa kuomba is the prayer of repentance. Ni vizuri mtu kujifundisha kutubu. Na hiyo tulitazama kutoka mstari wa kwanza. Repentance is an important factor in prayer. Maombi ya kutubu na tutaongea hiyo in a short while. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine mtu anakosea, mtu anaweza ingia katika kitu ambao hukustahili kuingia, unaweza tenda jambo ambalo haukustahili kulitenda. Bwana atukuzwe. So ni vizuri ujifundishe kuripenda. Nikasema ya kwamba take time to evaluate your life. Angalia maisha yako. Jifundishe kuwa na time of reflection. Uangalie nimeishi namna gani? Nimetembea namna gani? Mimi ninakaa tabia gani? Haleluya. Kwa sababu kuna dhambi ukiwa nazo zitafugulia mashetani mirango utakuwa attacked. Dhambi zingine ukiwa nazo hata ile maombi unataka kuomba kule mbele haitafika mbele za Bwana. Biblia inasema kuna maombi Mungu usikia kama kerele mbele zake. Maombi ya wenye dhambi. Praise the name of the Lord. So the other prayer that I made, hiyo si kusema mapema kwa hivyo ndio maana nikaisema uandike hata kama tuliizungumza hatukuiweka pamoja na yale mengine. Number two, we talked about the relationship prayer. Maombi ya uhusiano wako na Mungu. Usiache kuomba. Eh, ujiombe kuhusu ushirika wako na Mungu. Mungu mimi na wewe tuko wapi? Mimi na wewe tunaperekana namna gani? Ili niombi usiriache nyuma. Uwe unajiangalia. Kwa sababu kuna uwezekano you drift away from God. Unajiambia ninaye Mungu. Unajiambia ninatembea na Mungu wakati Mungu muliachana kitambo. Bwana tukuzwe. So pray kuna wakati unahitaji kuangalia maombi ya relationship mimi na Mungu. Vile tunaweza perekana, vile tunaweza elewana na lile ni ombi la muhimu. Number three. Eh, warfare prayer maombi ya kivita na tutaogea mambo machache baadaye maombi ya kivita ni kwamba kuna maadui katika maisha kuna wakati unakutana na mipaka katika maisha if you cannot pray war, in, in times of in, in, in times of warfare you pray as you fight haleluya maadui wale wamesimama mbele yako uweze kuwaondoa and for those who are here uh, I think I finished uh, when I was talking about the story of David from the book of 2 Samuel chapter number 10, 11 there all the way to 13 tuliona mambo mengi na mtu ambaye anaitwa Daudi Biblia inasema at a certain point ilikuwa ni wakati wa falme huenda vitani instead ya kwenda vitani alifanya nini alienda kupumzika Bwana asifiwe sana na nimewaambia wengine uchunge kitu inaitwa force confidence ujasiri wa udaganyifu ujasiri ambao life inaonekana iko sawa kila kitu ni kizuri wakati kunaonekana amani ndio wakati wa attacks zile nyingi katika maisha ya watu bwana asifiwe uliza watu wengi wakati walipatana na vita vikubwa walipatana na vita wakati walikuwa wanafikiri wakosekiwa 
walijiangalia wakaona maisha ni mazuri kila kitu inaenda vizuri wasielewe ya kwamba adui anakutega adui amekugoja bwana yesu asifiwe and do not rest on the confidence of yesterday's victory ushindi wa jana ni mzuri kuna mahali ulipigana kuna vita ulishinda lakini kuna vita vya leo ambavyo unasahili ujue vile utapigana bwana asifiwe sana so i also mentioned nikasema Daudi alifail kwa vita moja lakini ile vita ilikuwa vita ya miaka saba Kiri alikuwa anafanya angeenda hiyo vita leo angepigana vita vya miaka mingapi saba so nimesema ya kwamba sometimes the war you are fighting today is the war in the future and there is a statement that i said if you are not here you should make note of this i said in the spiritual realm there is no time nor distance you shall not forget these words there is no time nor distance in the spiritual realm ulimwengu wa roho hauna majira hauna wakati hauna ati kwamba sasa we, hii ni 2021 eh sasa hii jambo kwa sababu liko 2025 in the spiritual realm 2025 is just here hallelujah kwa hivyo kuna kitu unaweza sahau kufanya leo na ni miaka 20 inakuja ndio utakutana na kile kitu ndio utakutana na mambo ndio utasombwa bwana yesu asifiwe that is why uh, for example for you to understand better ushawahi pewa prophecy lakini haijatimia wangapi kuna neno lilisemwa juu yako na halijawahi timia hujaliona lakini kuna prophecy ilitolewa wangapi ushasikia mungu wachana na kuabiwa ukasikia mungu na masikio amesema kitu fulani juu ya maisha yako lakini hata wa sasa hujaona hiyo ni kusema nini with the god there is no time and there is no distance so when god speaks he can speak like it is happening tomorrow when actually it is about 20 years to come praise the name of the lord anaambia ibrahimu twende nikuonyeshe inchi na inchi hiyo nitakupea wewe na uzao wako saa hiyo hana mtoto wanaingia ile inchi abrahamu anaambiwa haya sasa simama hapo kwa kamulima angalia left angalia right angalia bere angalia nyuma hiyo inchi yote nimekupea wewe na watoto wako bado hakuna mtoto miaka inasonga mpaka sara akaambia ibrahimu mtu ni ahodhagira mtu we mtu utumia kichwa saa ingine hata we tumia yako fikiria ni nini mungu anataka inaonekana mungu si ametupea hagar si umshukue bwana asifiwe na wakakaa wakapata mtoto mungu anakuja anasema ah uh-uh, si huyu kuna mtoto wa sara nitampea na sara hana mtoto Yaani Mungu anachosema ni kama kesho utakuwa na watoto miabiri In fact kuna siku aliambia Ibrahimu Ibrahimu hebu kuja kidogo hapa nje. Ibrahimu akatoka akaambia angalia juu. Haya hesabu nyota. Ai akaambia Mungu hata we Mungu ukiangalia hizi nyota zinaweza hesabika. Mungu alimwambia namna gani? Watoto wako watakuwa wengi kama nini? How many years? Miaka 25 ndio kalikuwa katotoka moja. 25 years later kaptotoka mwagapi moja inakaa kama lile neno ni uongo but god even when he is telling abraham walk through the land god is telling him start to occupy for your generations hey am i talking to somebody sometimes the war we wage today is the war of our generations kuna mtoto atazaliwa akuta inchi haina milima kuna mtoto atazaliwa akute inchi iko na maea pot kila mahali lakini kuna wale ambao tunajua ungetaka kutoka Kenya airport ilikuwa ngapi moja Jomo Kenyatta International Airport baadaye dio kukaja Moi International Airport Mombasa baadaye kukaja Eldoret International baada ya hiyo tukawa na Kisumu baada ya hiyo tuko na Nakuru inapanuliwa baada ya hiyo tuko na Isioro International Airport baada ya hiyo tuko na ingine na Nyuki inapanuliwa after that kuna zingine kama Lamu i am telling you there is a person ambaye atakuja akute kwamba kwenda na ndege ni kama kwenda na matatu lakini kuna wale ambao tukitaka kupanda ndege kwanza unachukua punda na huiru baru ikupeleke town Bwana asifiwe sana. Baada ya hiyo ukakuta kuna wengine tukakuta ya kwamba kulikuwa na mabarabara. Lakini barabara zile tulikuwa tunaita. Wangapi una wangapi ulikuweko Dhika Road ikiwa barabara tu? Mnaikumbuka? 
Vika rodina ilikuwa kama nyoka inayandaka hivi, kirudi hivi. Ukifika pare ni wapi, ni, ni pare rosters. Eh? Muna kubuka barabara vile ilikuwa inaka. Tulikuwa tunapanda mulima. Musha inakaja, akaanza kuchimba. Mimi nikafikiria tunategenezoa barabara ya chini. Itakuwa inapitia kwa shimo. Kuligana vile nilikuwa ninaona. Nina jaribu kufikiria. Hii kitu itatokea na mnagani. Mu, wacha tufike mudhaiga. The complex. Inatengenezo wa sijui nini unaona machuma unaona Nina jaribu kuangalia na sema Hai, hii kitu hata iereweki Lakini leo unaerewa Buwana esu watukuzwe Sasa wachana na hizo Umeingia na utali Uyone the sasa wachana na Dika rodu watu wanaisifu bule Higia utali uone barabara Dio ujue kuna barabara Ukute barabara ya juu Sasa hile inakuja mobasa rodio ni example Ilifanyika kitambo Watu dio wanaona ikiwa kubwa but I'm saying there was a time. Hiyo outering. Ukejaribu uingie. Utarara na jam. Amen. Sahi watu wanapiga kerere Mombasa road. Kunaenda bura 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 bura. Lakini sisi ndiyo tuto tunakua. Tunapitia huko juu. Unatoka Machakos Junction. Unafika keno na dakika ishirini. Hata ishirini ni nyingi ya zita kuisha. Kuna siku zitakuwa. The battle we are fighting today with there is somebody who gonna enjoy the fruit of the battle. Angalia jirani muambia. Si upigane vita vingine sasa. Uh -uh, unamuambia kama unapebereza. Muambia pigana vita vingine sasa. Angalia mutu muambia hata kama haupendi vita. Muambia pigana. Kuna wakati utakuwa na amani. Buwana asfua sana. Munasikia mpaka mungu waliabia Daudi yawea uta nijagea nyumba. Mikono yako imejaa nini? Damu. Lakini ya kasema muanao ata nijagea. Maana mikono yake haita kuwa na damu. Yee hata pigana vita. Yee atakuta ulimwegu ambao hauna maadui. Praise the name of the Lord. Inua mkono wakulia sema ee buwana. Si unipe uweza. Wakujipigania. Na kupigania vizazivi yangu. Ili wengine wafurahia amani. May God hear your prayer. Hallelujah. Sasa wengine unaona hile struggle tuko nao. Because kule bere kwetu. Hakuna mutu walipigana vita. Wao walikuwa wanateka life casually. Maisha huenda hivyo. Mutoto kutokusoma ni nomo. Unaenda unafika class 6. Hata una akiri. Arafu unakataa kweda shule unabiwa githomo tithruwale. Ikara. Masomo si suruwale. Ka. Ugari ni mingi hapa. Hata shaba ni kubwa. Hiyo ndiyo ujinga ilikuweko. Lakini, mimi nasema hivi, si kutoke mtu ambao unaangalia mtoto hii ujinga uko, akonahe. Unaelewa hii si ujinga ni pepo. Unadil nayo. Unavunja ujinga. Mtoto mwingine grade child, analelewa maisha ambao. Mipaka ya herimu hata pigana nae. Praise the name of the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? Warfare prayer is an important factor in your prayer life. Wacha kuweka maombi ya, ya vita nyuma. Ate una, unaomba tu. Na wengine uachana na hii tu maombi kashu. I, I wish ninge kujua. Leo tuge kuweka gumi. Mana wengine unamuka azubu. Oh baba. Ni wewe tu buwana. Ni wewe. Sasa. A, alikuwa mesema si ye. Kwe adwara ugetetiwe. You know there are things ambao. My, my, get to the point whereby you change. Praise the name of the Lord. Ay, buwana asifiwe. Munataka kuendelea na maisha kashuo. Maisha kashuo, maisha kashuo mbele. Ile kashuo nesu na take maisha na ya leo. Italifrekti bahari mbele. Utaikuta tu. Utakutana na vitu ambazo huwezi hamisha. Wengine unataka nyumba. Lakini hauombi. Haupigani na majitu. Yalio zuia baba yako kujenga. Si alijenga kafikisha linto. Watu wengine wetu mababa zetu. Ile nyumba aliweka ya mawe. Si mawe iko pare pare. Wengine hata wewe ni mushuhuda Si unaonanga mawe kwa compound Na hile ingine hiko kwa mama Johnny Diyo inapikanga ugari Mawe Ya kwenu hile ilikuwe menunuliwa ya kujenga Diyo kitchen ya mutu Ngari ya mutu muambia usipopigana leo Hicho ambacho haupigani nacho Utakikuta na hapa mbere Ngari ya pandeo ingine muambia Kire hauondoi Utakikuta mbere Iyi Wacha hii mchezo ukonae. 
Unaona tumusichana tu kwenu vile tunaole wangu tu hivyo fodha radio hako kurusu kameolewa na mrevi jamaa mwingine mnakutana na anakuambiaga <laughs> inilo inilo yake fao leta bao lakini wewe hakuna kitu unafanya unakaangalia tu ateni wa sister tu na hurumia na ukikaka unamtumia miabiri unajua kwa na mashida mingi sasa endelea kutuma miabiri na ukataye kuondoa hii roho wa boy inafanyanga watu waolewe hivyo you are my you are life utakutana na lile jitu lilibeba you are sister na wapendwa niwaambie hapana fikiri uko kanisani ndani unaweza tolewa kwa kanisa na mulevi hata wewe ukijiangalia unaona uko na pepo mpaka unashindwa kama ulikuwa umeokoka alinipata aje tulieda eda aje hata hata wengine ndio unakutaka mtu tu akiwa huko unaona mtu tu amekaa tu kwa jia hivi anagoga kitu eh tu ya fujo akishindwa vidi alienda kwa hiyo nyumba bwana asifiwe arabu utaishi kusubua pasta pasta oba ogesa maobi wiki ile wa john ni uko nyuaranywa wiki hii amezidi wiki hii hata nilisikiza si pobe amekunywa mimi nilisikia kama amekunywa bagi bagi haikunywi ni kuvutwa lakini sasa umechanganyikiwa na kile kinakuchanganya ni life because unajaribu kufikiri how did i get here hebu inua mkono sema nimekataa kuachilia majitu yatakayonisumbua mbele sema vizuri nimekataa kuachilia majitu yatakayonisumbua mbele glory be to god we need to fight my brethren we fight some of the things ambazo hata tuelewi vizuri wangapi kuna dalili unaonanga kwenu zinapigana zinahitaji kupiganwa nazo wangapi unaonanga ni kuri goma goku umefanya nini kuzihusu lakini tu ni ile kwa muka asubuhi una unaombea tu maombi ngine ndani ya blanket oh bwana ni wewe bwa unaendelea na kurara ukiamuka saa saba ndio unasema bwana haleluya ama unaachia Mungu ajijazie mapengo wenye unazidi kuomba ukirara ukiamuka mchezo mchezo lakini unataka hizi pepo ziondoke Bwana asifiwe sana Sijui kama ni vizuri nikutajie mambo haya na nafikiri ni vizuri sababu sasa hata nime nimehubiri ya, ya mapema hii gine sijui nitahubiri saa ngapi eh? kuna maeneo ambayo unastahili kuelewa yanahitaji warfare and strategic warfare not just warfare strategic warfare kuna maeneo unayostahili kupigania katika maisha yako na upigane ukiwa na the seriousness it deserves bwana asifiwe sana andika mambo haya number one, kuna vitu tunaita spiritual boundaries ama tu tuseme boundaries mipaka mpaka wowote ambao particularly when the boundary is visible deal with it usipo deal nayo itakuja siku moja itakuweka itakuwekea ule mpaka utashindwa kupita bwana yesu asifiwe every boundary ambayo unarecognize unaona ule mpaka ukiangalia unajua hapa kuna mpaka kwa mfano ninasema hivi hakuna vile mnaweza zaliwa wasichana warembo wazuri kama vile hebu angalia wasichana hawa wale wadada wako hapa hebu angalia vile wako na sura mzuri na usipende mtu saa hii wewe nimesema tu muangalie uone sura they don't know any other car he 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 bwana asifiwe wadada wale wako hapa ni warembo swali ni hili bona mtu akae na akose kuolewa na tena ninasema hivi si wewe dada yako hakuolewa you are aunt mrembo mwingine mpaka watu walikuwa nasema ni muhindi mpaka alikuwa anaitwa half caste kwa sababu ya sura rangi si watu wale walikutana na marangi nyeusi nyeusi ni wale walikutana na rangi mzuri mzuri sasa ndiye huyo amezekea huko na vijana watatu wengine walevi kuliko changaa yenyewe bwana asifiwe sana ndio huyo sasa mpaka huo unaona na anti chocho hakuolewa mimi ndiyo huyu my sister ndiyo huyo my cousins ni wengi mpaka tuko na chama ya jisaidie tuko karibu kufugua nasari kwetu maana kila mtu na tutatu gapi tuwili tutatu mnatengeneza shule hapo kwenu na mnakuwa wakali na unajua watu wengine mchunge ninawasaidia vita zingine pigana ama utaishi maisha ya hasira na fujo Munaishi kupiga watoto mtu 
mpaka mnaabiana hichi kwenda kuhorwa hizi zinahitaji kupigwa you are sister anaanzia pande ile tuagara nawe upande ile tuagara mtoto anapigiwa hapa katikati mpaka mtoto by the time ke hii inafika miaka sita unakuta kimeondoka kimetoroka hakirudi nyumbani kikitokea shule kinaenda nikukitafuta mtakitafuta na mkikipata mnakikuta kule kimeenda kiko very comfortable hata kama ni kwa barabara mnakikuta kinarusia magari mawe maana kiko na fujo e, mulega nyinyi maisha hiyo mnaielewa mumewaiona kehe inatoroka nyumbani ikiwa na miaka sita hiyo ni ya class one imeenda haikuji nyumbani mnaitafuta kamusiana kako na miaka kumi na kanajua chini ya nguo ni nini zinakuweko unakakuta kameenda hivyo kameenda na unakuta kule kameigia paka kanajua wa baba na kanajua kule kanapita ni kutoroka kanatoroka si kupenda maana nyumba imejawa na, fi, na fujo maana hamkuolewa mnamwaga hasira kwa watoto amen Dio hata huwa na, na na huwa saa nyingine na wasaidia na hekima hata ukiwa kanisani elewa watu kuna mtu tu anaweza kuwa na mafujo wabazo azikitoki Az, hapa ziko na huko amezileta huku ni kuja amekuja nazo sasa unakuta tu hata katoto tu kakipita kapite kama kanapita vibaya unaona anakainua na anakaweka kwa kiti haraka haraka kaa hapo lakini si fujo ya hapa ni ya huko na unasikia watu wakiogea mtu achugi watoto Eh, ni kuangalia tu watoto wakieda tu watoto ni watoto wengine hapa waliokuwa wananisubua kwa ibada mpaka kupanda huku juu si ndio hao wameketi unaona wakubwa waliacha utoto mtoto atarefuka siku moja atawacha hii kitu unaona bwana asifiwe sana tuachana na nyinyi ile ilikuwa inakula kidole inakula kidole si iliacha kukula hata huyu wa mwenyewe atakuwa mkubwa lakini kama kuna mpaka uko kwenu na haushughuliki utakusubua praise the name of the lord so umeelewa areas za warfare one of the key things ambazo unapaswa kushughulikia take note of every limitation within the family mipaka ile unaona katika familia ndiru nayo mipaka ya maisha bwana asifiwe sana another area that you should fight for is resources brethren The devil will never give you what you deserve. He will always give you what you demand. Praise the name of the Lord. The devil will not give you what you deserve. He will give you what you demand. That is the nature of the devil. Shetani yakuji ati anakwambia huyu sasa juu umekuwa mkubwa chukua hii ilikuwa yako. Hapana, shetani ni kupabana mtapabana. Ni kupigana mtapigana. Wewe unaona kama Goliath alipoona Daudi alienda nyumbani. Alijiagusa ate kuja ukatia hapa. Ni vita ilikuweko wengine hivyo ndivyo tunagoja tunafikiri kuna adui siku moja tu atasaleda oi oi kama ni we umekuja uh, asante pita tu wewe olewa wewe pata pesa wewe pata nini resources katika dunia hazikuji kwa sababu you need them they come because you fight praise the name of the lord so ombeeni kuhusu maisha yenu ya finances Ombeeni mali zenu zile mnahitaji. Ombeeni magari zenu kule zimekuwa mazitoke. Ombeeni mashamba yenu kule yameuziwa wale wameuziwa wasijenge manyumba huko. Ai, unajua kuna maobi baya na, na usipoomba shauri yako wewe katu. Kuna maobi ya kuoba mwenye ako na shabaragu asidhubutu kujenga. Wewe wacha akuwe na pesa akule madazi. Shamba ni yangu. He, habari zenu? Agalia jirani mwambie we kuwa mpole tu kuwa mpole tu Sasa mtu akijenga ile shamba ulikuwa unataka utamtoa hapo namna gani utabidi ununue mpaka nini nyumba na we huko unataka nyumba unataka shamba praise the name of the lord kama unahitaji nyumba we unafikiria habari ya nyumba basi anza kuombea jamaa anze kujenga atafute pesa imuchokoze mpaka ajenge nyumba alafu wakae huko asikie hana amani paka banala ya kuuza milioni saba, akuzie tatu na nusu na akwambie usiende ukiogea doga hiyo kiaragia no aigua eh usiogee hiyo maneno hiyo ni wewe na hata sijui nimekuuzia by the way wewe ni wetu eh mbona nimekuuzia hiyo bei ya chini hivyo eh anakuuzia bei mpaka anakasirika 
lakini anajua alipewa na muamini neno la Bwana and i want to request you when you wage you offer you know the word of god the bible says the wicked will gather for the righteous that is the bible weovu atakusanya kwa sababu ya wenye haki kuna watu wanapaswa wakae na mashamba hiyo ni yetu wakae nayo tu hivyo na isiwasubue saa hii unajua kuna mzee mmoja aliulizwa nafikiri hata alikuwa mama akaambiwa tunaomba utuuzie shamba ya kanisa akacheka cheka ati akauliza <laughs> ninawauzia niko na shida gani huyo ni mzuri sana wasa akae na shaba shida ikuje wakati tunahitaji ai ni damwera kwema hoya mage matari mega lakini ni baya kuligana na wao ni mzuri kuligana na sisi busa limia jirani mwambie wacha kuhurumia watu amen bwana asifiwe Haya, mimi najaribu kuwasaidia na neno na hekima ya Biblia. So in the area of resources it requires warfare. Pigania watoto wako. Si wewe unajua kwenu vile mmeteseka. Si unakumbukanga mkikunywa uji na kikombe kingine ilikuwa inamwaga. Paka unakunywe hapo, ni nimuraririkana. Unajua watu wengine, hebu angalia jirani mwambie wacha kujifanya, tunakujua, tunajua. Mwambie tulikuwa area ni mwanyue teka shaina gekombe na haudhi mulikunyue hapo juu na mwaga ama ina, ina, inawekwa nini kauga ili isimwage na sufuria ya kupika ugali juu na mwaga inawekwa uga isimwage maji ni murashiona mulizikuta hiyo ndiyo maisha unataka watoto wakue nae anza kupigania watoto resources zetu masufuria na niliwaambia sometimes itisha hata ile sufuria ilikuwa ya mama Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo sufuria mama angepika naye na hakushukua. Itisha. Si iko kwa store. Alafu ni kitu gani? So pata masufuria makubwa. Jina na Bwana libarikiwe. Na watu muache kukaa na sufuria moja mpaka uwakime ile gima mpaka sufuria inakaa iko na nini? Na na mugogo. Ikiwekwa chini inaanza kugaragara inazunguka inaiba break dance peke yake. Hiyo sufuria enda utupe utafute sufuria mzuri. <laughs> Ale da amenya siekuo. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Mambo ya kupika sukuma, alafu unaweka kwa sahani ndio upike ugali. Hii mambo hapana, hii hakuna. Hata huoshi hiyo sufuria ni ni kufanya tu maji hivi tushwa, alafu unawekelea. Hii tabia tuache. Resources ziko, mali iko. Bwana asifiwe. Itisha ni yako. Bwana atukuzwe. So pray concerning the resources fight for the resources amen pigania daudi alipigana mpaka akasubject maadui mpaka nani solomon akija there is no enemy praise the name of the lord can you imagine even the son of solomon alikuta ulimwengu hauna nini maadui lift up your right hand and say oh god help me to fight help me to fight for myself for my children and for my grandchildren hey say it again for myself for my children and for my grandchildren to the fourth generation upigania kizazi cha ine kikikuja kinakula vizuri kinakunywa vizuri paka vizazi vinakumbuka shosho shosho alikuwa hapa tunasikianga shosho alikuwa mtu wa imani bwana yesu asifiwe na wapendwa mupigana na majitu ile igeua watoto wako uipige sasa hapana kama mpaka watoto wana wanakutana tu na ile goliathi ulikutana naye bado iko bwana asifiwe We haujasoma ya kwamba dugu yake goliathi alikuweko hata wakati wa Daudi miaka na huko mbele dugu yake goliathi alikuwa by the way usome biblia vizuri kuna goliathi mwingine goliathi walikuwa wagapi ai Enda usome second Samuel utapatana na Goliath wa pili alikuweko second Goliath na dugu zake kuna mwingine ambaye pia alikuweko alikuwa na vidole sita na sita mkono huu ya miguu ni sita na ya hii gine ni sita hata biblia inaandika alikuwa na 24 vidole yule hakuwawa mbele aliwasubua baadaye karibu auwe Daudi kwa nini watoto wako wakutane na lile lile jitu? 
The financial struggles you went through. Watoto wako bado dio wanazikuta nazo. Wana asifiwe. Gradi children wanakutana tu na ile struggle. Paka unawatia moyo, unawabia. Kama hatuja kufa, bora uha. Bora uhai. Bora tutu kuhai. Na mungu ni muema. Mbaka unawa. Dio watu wengine wanatuga mahubiri ya bawa haiko. Ate hata tukipata mateso hapa. Tutafurahia wapi. Biguni. Bona mungu haku pereka dhahabu yote biguni. Kuna kidogo walibakisha huku. Alikuwa najua tutahitaji dhahabu hapa. Bona mungu haku pereka miti yote biguni. Bada ya watu kukosea. Pereke yote biguni tungangane kukura mchanga. Aliacha miti ya matunda, machungwa, maembe. Tukule. Jina na bona alibarikiwe. Ukikosa kuweka imani ilio sawa. Hauta pigana. Praise the name of the Lord. Another area ambao inahitaji vita katika hii maisha yako ambao unaka ni ile tunaweza ita progressions in life progressions of life na hii sijui kizungu kizuri we Mungu atawasaidia mtarekebishi na hapo bere eh, sio ulizoma kizungu the progressions in life kuna mambo yanapaswa kuwa ya kuwe natural ufike hapa uende pale utoke hapa uende pale uone hiki uone kile ni natural inapaswa iweko lakini kuna wakati adui anasimama hata kile ni chako anasema hautafika hata kule unastahili uwe hauwi hata yale mambo umepewa haupatiwi lakini ni yako bwana yesu asifiwe eh ni watu wangapi walikufa kabra ya kufikia vitu ambazo zilikuwa ni zao na zimewekwa na zimepangwa ni zao na Mungu alikuwa amesema hiki ni cha fulani Praise the name of the Lord Sina muda wa kueleza mambo mengi So si umeelewa habari ya warfare eh, unapaswa kujua kujipigania katika hayo maneno Na number 4 number yes number 4 Kuna eneo na nimeritaja katika warfare but I think it is important to mention it as a single entity It is the prayer for provisions Ombea vitu zile unahitaji vitu zile ambazo bibilia inakupea vitu zile ambazo kama mwana wa Mungu unastahili uwe nazo Bwana Yesu asifiwe You know let me give you an example if you look into Genesis chapter number 41 4041 there you know the story of uh, Pharaoh amefika ni 41 Pharaoh amepata ndoto na ametafsiriwa akaambiwa miaka saba ya chakula mingi na miaka saba ambao haina nini chakula alisema Joseph kwenda nyumbani nimeshukuru sana barikiwa na upewe sadaka alimsema namna gani alimwambia Joseph kama kuna kitu tunahitaji ni mtu mwenye akili ya kufanyisha lile neno kazi Mungu amesema miaka saba itakuwa na chakula nyingi we need somebody who can manage the word Am I talking to somebody? Concerning your provisions, they can be given, but you lack the mentality and the capacity to handle the same. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ombea provisions na unapaswa kuomba number one, that they will get to you in time. Hakuna kitu kibaya kama kupata zile vitu unahitaji lakini unazipata ukiwa unakufa. Haina maana afadhali ya ungepata. Unaishi maisha ile huwa nakwambia ya bazilai. Bazilai anaambiwa twende ukakule vizuri twende ukakunywe vizuri. Anaambia mfalme mfalme. Mimi niko na miaka mirogo. Eite. Sasa mzee, mimi hata ukipika nyama sijui testi yake hata meno ya kutafuta ya kutafuna hakuna. Na sasa hata ukitengeneza divei mzuri hata nikikunywa sielewi iradha. Hata ukiimba wimbo nikishwa tu itakuwa inatigiza maana siwezi imba. Nishapita ile miaka. Ebu inua mkono sema nimekataa kuwa kama bazilai. Gai, hivyo ndivyo utasema kwa mtu ambaye anaamini. Ama ni asana na wewe pande hiyo. Na ninawauliza, mko mko tayari kuchange life ama mnataka tuendelee vile tunaendelea? How many are ready for a change? Are you comfortable living like a bazilai? The time you receive an, an offer, hauna haja naye. Bwana asifiwe. Sasa mambo ya kununuliwa gari ukiwa miaka ite na kijana yako au unapelekwa duka hata unaenda unaulizwa mzee toko goreleke mzee tukununulie ni nasema okelea moleona ile mtaona hiyo ni maisha gani ni ya nini hiyo gari unabebwa na kimasidis 
kikubwa alafu mpaka watu wanaenda wakionjana ni aka mzee kalea ni akale ka mzee ni akale ka mama kako hapo ndani ako hapo ndani back left mpaka unabebwa hauoni chochote ni umerara ukiingia tu kwa gari umerara unaenda kuamshiwa supermarket alafu unapelekwa by the time unapada stia ya kwanza unasema nitosoke turudi nimechoka unarudi nyumbani ilikuwa ya nini hebu sema nimekataa baraka zilizochelewa sema nimekataa baraka zilizochelewa and may god give you what you deserve now may god give you what is required of you at the time that is appropriate may you receive all the provisions you need for a good life hallelujah na upigane dio ninasema itisha provisions paka uwekee watoto na watoto wa watoto wako people should come and enjoy life hallelujah na wapendwa niliwaambia mimi miaka kama kumi na miwili iliyopita ndio Mungu aliogea hapa tulikuwa tu hapa akasema aka kitu ambacho tulianza kudiru nacho tukaanza kuombea provisions zetu na huo wakati nakumbuka nikiambia wale ambao walikuwa hapa kuna watu kadhaa bado wako hapa nikasema ya kwamba kuna maisha siwezi ngangana na watoto wangu wangangane I did not say that because of pride. I say that because I was taking the word of God literally. Kwa nini mimi ningangane? Ningangane na pesa, ningangane na masomo, ningangane na nini? Alafu watoto wangu wakuje wajikute pale pale ndio wanaanzia. I will deal with the giants so that my children will live a comfortable life. Hata usiposema kitu, mimi sikwabi udiru na ya kwenu wewe endelea kukaa utaiona tu hapo siku ile unakufa dio jitu linakuja linakuchekelea linakwambia <laughs> ni wadhi eh umeenda linakwambia kwa heri majitu ya uganga ambao hakuna mtu alishughulikia inakuja inakwambia bye bye tunauanga watu hivyo huku majitu ya uchovu wa maisha mtu unaishi maisha umechoka unajua kuna maisha unaweza ishi it is not enjoyable it is tiresome unaishi mpaka by the time unafika 42 Unaanza kuwabia watu mimi nangojea tu siku ile bwana ataniita. Sababu umechoka na maisha. Life imekupiga, imekugonga. Buni angalilia jirani kama anaweza kuwa amegongwa na maisha. Aya, umeangalia? Anakaa aje? Ako sawa? Ebu muulize by the way, ni, ni, ni nguo umevaa ama umediru na maadui? Yeye kuna vile unaweza vaa nguo tunafikiria uko bere na ni maadui bado wako huko tu. Kuna wengine unakuja una smile. Tunaona uko sawa lakini ndani unajua nikitoka hapa nitaenda kudhigidhwa. Nikitoka hapa nitaenda kusuguliwa na maadui. Maana wako wananigoja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu angalia mtu na nimekupea ruhusa kama akobali sana enda tu uduge na kidole mwambie diru na maadui nimekupea ruhusa leo kidogo tu hivyo uduge mtu kama uko hauna mtu wewe soka soka tu duga hena kidole mwambie diru na maadui wengine saa hii na kuna mtu unaogopa kuduga yeye unajua ni kwa nataka uguze yeye ili asikia asijifanye hakuelewa vile tumesema umwambie diru na maadui wacha kuangalia tu na macho watu wanasema sasa ni sawa tu hiyo maisha ni Mungu anagawa kila kitu hata anaitwa gai kwa sababu ya kogaya hiyo ni kikuyu hapo hakuna Mungu haitwi Mungu kwa sababu anagawa anaitwa Mungu kwa sababu ni Mungu na kuna vitu ameacha mikononi mwako deal with them or it remains as such na kuna watu wengi wako comfortable status quo maisha iendelee kama kawaida kuteswa kawaida kuumizwa kawaida maadui kawaida tu paka mtu unafika mahali naona tu hata mtu akikuja ibada amechoka na hajaingia amechoka tu yes mtu asachoka tu kitambo jua na jua tu sasa tuendelea hivyo tunaendelea alafu nirudi nyumbani hata kuna mtu hata mahubiri ikiendelea ni mchoro tu anachora vile asoka akirudi vile maisha tu itaendelea yaani nitarudi kule alafu hakuna kitu sasa ni ile ugali tu tulikula tutakula tena 
Yaani mtu anapanga mpaka ina inamkanganya. Ina We refuse that kind of, kind of life in Jesus name. The prayer for provisions. Another prayer that I said and it is important is the last thing it is the prayer of protection. The prayer of or for protection. Pray so that you be protected. Deal with some enemies who are standing on your way. Deal with some attacks from wherever they may come from. Deal with them. Deal with the enemies. And I want to say this as I, I, I finish on this item. Eh? Pray with understanding. Pray with the sensitivity. Omba ukiwa makini. Apana omba mutu tu ambaya nilisema kashuo. You are praying. Maombi kupereka kule itakupereka. Pray as you listen to the spirit of God. Kuna maadui utakutana nao. Katika maombi. Lakini kumbe siyo sasa. Ni kesho. Ni mwaka ujao. Utakuwa umediru na wao. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Sasa kwa sababu ninataka tuwe na kipindi kifupi cha maombi. Ebu tuende katika kitabu cha Joeri sura ya pidi. Joel chapter 2. Na ninataka tuende kutoka verse number 12. Tutasoma mambo kadha. Eh, itatusaidia. Bibina sema kwamba Yet even now declares the Lord Turn back to me with your whole heart With the fasting, tears and mourning If you read the previous verses For the sake of your information Kuna Bibina inasema habari ya Wa Israeli na maadui Walio inuka katikati yao Kume inuka vita Bibina inasema kwamba maadui wao Wanatetemesha inchi wakipita, wakipita. Na inchi inatetemeka Wanateswa, bibia sama kwamba wanawawa, mateso ni mengi. Lakini bibia sama kwamba, turn back to me with the, your whole heart, with the fasting, tears and mourning. Jina na buwana libarikiwe. Kuna wakati watu wanapaswa kuwerewa, hawezi enderea na maombi ya kawaida. There is a, a, a time that calls for serious prayer. Prayer that is beyond the ordinary. Uombe zaidi ya video umezoea. Uamuke uachane na kitanda. Uwe in the sitting room. Hata kama sitting room ni nyuma, ni bere ya curtain. Wewe enda tu wapo. Toka kwa kitanda. Toka nyuma ya curtain. Enda uwanze kuzugumza na buwana. Katika hali tafauti. Buwana yesu kufiwe. Nimesema hivi na nitarudia. Casual prayer. We will resort in a casual life. Maombi ambao haina bidi. Haina juhudi. Ni maombi tu. Unaomba tu hivyo. Itazaa matunda ya kawaida. Ukitaka kuona vitu ambazo si za kawaida. Ingia katika eneo la maombi ambao si ya kawaida. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you look at this word. Anasema ya kwamba. Wakuja na mio yao yote. With the fasting, tears and morning. Hii si maombi ya kawaida. Mutu ambaya nafanya fasting. Wana yesu asifiwe. Kuna wakati unaitaji wenegeje fasting katika kuomba kwako. Ujinyime chakura. Uambie tumbo haukuri. Na wapendwa mukifunga. Prepare yourself for deeper prayer. Ukifunga wacha kurara sana. Ukifunga amuka. Kuna kuwaga na kausingizi kegine mtu usikia baada ya kufunga. Patikiwe siku ya pidi. Unasikia usingizi ambao siya kawaida. Ukifika siku ya tatu ya ine. Usigizi unakuwa ya kwamba haurari. Lakini umerara. Uko katika ulimwengu wabao unakaa kama unafrote. Between the spiritual. Uo ni wakati ambao. Mwili wako umeachana na nyama. Roho yako inaanda kuweza kupaa katika eneo spiritual. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa hivyo wale ambao ujawai funga siku tatu ine, nataka kukuene courage anza. Jifundishe ni kufunga. Na kuna siku za maombi. Buwana suwe sana. Fasting ya siku moja hiyo ni fasting ya kawaida. Iyo ni nomo. Iyo hata unapaswa nilikuambia mtoto wakifikisha miaka ine, fudisha kufunga siku moja. Four years is too old. Na niliwambia hivi, hawa watu muache wa mea wafikishe meno 20, harafu useme kufuga hapo, utafunga peke yako. Mutu wako na meno 20 ya nashidua, tagunikue hivi, bona huku sema habari ya kufuga. Mutoto wanaitaji kufudishwa kufunga. Wanapiganga duru, wanakuanga na kizungu zungu for some time. Kizungu zungu inaishanga na hapo bede. Kuna momoja wangu walikuwa na niambia, anasikia sijui, Kizugu zugu, kiswa inauma, anasikia kurara, anasikia kama ni mugojwa, anasikia tonsos. Izo zote tulizoea. Tukaambiwa mpaka tukafudisha ye, tonsos zitafanya nini? Zitaisha. Mwana sana.
Siku ingine tulipanga hapa kufunga na nikatangaza hapa. E, tulipoenda nyumbani e, tukapangana kwa sababu sikubuki kulikuwa na issues gani. So hatugeweza kufuatanisha siku vile tulikuwa tunatamani tukaweka siku moja, turuke moja, tuende ingine, turuke moja, hivyo ndivyo tulijipanga kuligana na mambo vile alikuwa. Yeye alishikanisha zake. So zizi tunakula hapo jamaa ameketi hapo hakuli kitu. Na hana shida. Amen. Saigini anasema yeye ataenda dry, hataki kitu. Anaenda dry unasikia amegonga siku bidi hapo tu mkiwa hapo nyinyi mnakunywa watumaji na tuchai hapo. Yeye anafuga hivyo. Alijua tulifudisha yeye by force. Huyo ndiye tu alikuwa na tonsils tukifika kufuga. Huyo tu ndiye alikuwa anasikia kizuguzugu tukifuga. Hebu angalia mtu huyo mkubwa wako karibu na yeye muulize unasikianga kizunguzungu siku ya pili. Wengine muache kusema mnanyonyesha. Mtu wako na miaka pili unanyonyesha tu hapo ukisema uwezi fuga. Fuga akose kitu ya kutoa. Ni kaimu la dorate bwana asifiwe. Fugeni akose kitu paka achukie akuulize mamu kwani haitoki kitu mwambie we ni mtu mkubwa unatoa nini hapa bwana asifiwe sana ufundishe watu kufunga sio na, na uwafundishe discipline si mnafunga na mnasema mfuka alafu jamaa anashomoka hivi anaenda kwa jirani anakula alafu anaoga naoga mdomo kabisa alafu anakuja na anaweka sura ingine ya kusema sijaona kitu leo Mujanja umerea. So, ninasema hivi kwa sababu unaona with the fasting, amen. Anaongeza nini ingine? We are in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 12. Kwani hamuna Bible? Inasema nini? Mkuja na mioyo yenu yote. Si maombi superficial, maombi ya juju hapana, iombwe maombi tokayo wapi? Moyoni. Praise the name of the Lord. Si maombi ya mtu ambaye ako na mchezo. Mtu ambaye anaomba akiwa anaangalia kasimu na akijibu SMS shakara baganda raba. Yes. Oh yes Lord nimerudi niko serious sasa. Asante Bwana ka message kingine kanaingia anaangalia anasema guy. Alafu anajibu tena, alafu maisha inaendelea. Hiyo maombi sio ile nasema. Nasema maombi itokao kwa moyo. Mtu ambaye akiweka kuomba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Niliwambia habari ya jamaa mwingine mu Nigeria ambaye alisimama kuomba akasimama mahali alisimama ilikuwa ilikuwa lini sande baada ya ibada akasema tuombeni akaomba watu wakachoka wakafika usiku saa mbili wakaenda nyumbani akawachwa mahali yaliko tu anatetemeka akiomba wakakuja mande bado wanaomba hajatoka mahali yaliko akaomba mande yote Aka, wakachoka wakaenda nyumbani Tuesday wakarudi mzee bado wanaomba Wednesday ndio anawaambia Sharuiko nkurud Arafu wanasema ni sade wanamwambia mzee si sade leo ni siku ya gapi ni ya ine umeomba tatu hajatoka mahali mpaka mahali aliyobea paka jegeka shimo mahali alikuwa tu anafanya hivi shimo ikachibika kini wengine hapa ati unataka kugeuza misingi ya kwenu daimono zingine zilitolewa ngombe tano siku moja hizo ndizo unahamisha na tumaombi in Jesus name sindwe ukikakaa kidogo kwa nyumba sindwe unajua kuna wengine mpaka shetani inakuangalia hivi tu na hainanga huruma lakini nakuangalia ninasema acha niende acha niende huyu nikigoga nitamalizia tu hapa wengine shukuruni Mungu hajawahi ruhusu muuawe mchezo Maombi iongezwe fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Anasema zaidi ya fasting iongezwe nini? Machozi. Kuna wakati ambao unahitaji ukaririe Mungu. Wacha hii mchezo ya maombi tu macho ikiwa dry. Kwanza wanaume, mara ya mwisho ile uliria ni lini? Ni moshi ilikuwa kwa nyumba. Ama siku ingine ulipika, kitugui kawa kali. Hiyo ndio inafanya ulie. He maombi haiwezi kukusaidia. There is a time that requires tears. Praise the name of the Lord. Biblia inasema ya kwamba na Yesu katika siku zake alilia kwa machozi mengi. 
Ebu niangalilia jirani umuulize mwana wa Mungu alilia. Wewe mwana wa furani utakosaje kulia? Mwana wa Mungu alijipeana machozi. Aliomba mpaka jasho ikaanguka ikiwa kama nini? Damu. Lakini sisi tunataka tu kuomba hata uwezi toa hata, hata makamazi haiwezi toka. Ombeni na mulie. Wapendwa kuna vitu utabadilisha kwa machozi yako. Bwana asifiwe. Machozi ukaridia Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Mnasikia Mordekai ana alipoambia Esther hapa tunapaswa tufanye kitu. Esther alimwambia Mordekai, "Hii mafikira unafikira ati niende kwa mfalme, nitakatwa kichwa." Haiwezi ienda hivyo hatuwezi ingia tu ati kwa sababu mimi am the queen niende kuku kuku my 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 lord my my king eh, eh yani umesema ni uwawe hiyo haitasaidia akamwambia go and fast for three days let prayer be made for me so that when i get to the king i'll have favor praise the name of the lord sisi tunataka favor lakini machozi haiwezi toka tumbo haiwezi nyimwa kitu maombi tu ya kawaida macho ikiwa gumu hata wengine huwezi fuga macho Unaombanga tu umefugua throughout. Rapaka tarama shikira. Nini nimeadikwa pale? Oh God. Aya 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 yes Lord. Kube frani anakuaga hivi akiwa hajasuka nywele. <laughs> Sasa ni mahesabu unafanya za watu wakati tunaomba. Alafu hiyo ndio maombi unataka ibadilishe kitu. Haiwezi kukubadilishia kitu. Ni kufika mahali utafika mahali pale ukilala umelala. Praise the name of the Lord. Niliwaambia habari ya wazee wengine ambao waliomba, miaka mikeka ikapasuka, ikawa na shimo. Mahali mtu anakuja anapiga magoti, mikeka ikapasuka. Revival ikatokea. Kini zizi tunataka tu ukisikia vile tunaitisha revival bwana revival. Senda revival. Yes Lord. Revival. Hebu angalia jirani na uharibu sura umuulize hii mchezo yako utawacha lini Na Biblia inasema kuongezwa maombolezo maombolezo si kulia ni ku, kuomboleza ni tofauti na kulia Bwana asifiwe sana Maombolezo ni kitu haina lugha ya kawaida Maombolezo haujui useme nini ni ile watu wanapiga nduru ambao haina njia ya ku explain You cannot express yourself in any other way But these are the prayers that change things. Kini kashu prayer shata katarama rekaba gandaraba. Oh yes. Aya nani saa saba na kuota. Oh. Sasa. Dio niliwa bia hata tukienda nyumbani. Wakati unasikia watoto wetu wanajaribu kukope vile tunaobaga. Hapa saigino nonata akialibu sura. We muruhusu. Hata wewe anza maombi akianza na wewe anzia mwambie tuendelee kijana waonyeshe kupiga kelele hiyo waonyeshe kuomba hiyo maombi ambayo inapidi mtu kujipeana tuwashana na hitu maombi hata unaambia mtoto wa obesha kuna anasema oh god bless food amen hii hi ni maombi gani unafundisha watoto bless food kitu gani mfundishe kuomba Tear your heart, not your garments. Larueni mioyo wachaneni na nini? Na maguo. Nguo ni kusema maisha hile watu wanaona. Maombi yache kutoka hapa katika natural things. Mambo yare ya mekuzuguka vitu zile zinaonekana. Maombi itoke kwa moyo. Inapasua moyo. Vitu ambazo vina kuumiza moyo. Hivo vita badilisha mambo. Uchungu na opatikana huku. Si uchungu ambao kwa hapa jutu. Buwana asfe sana. Eh, kwa neema ya Bwana akinisaidia ningetaka niwafundisha wakati mwingine habari ya siri ya kuomba maombi ya kina maombi iliyo toka ndani siri ya kuyaomba ni nini praise the name of the lord another thing ambao ningetaka tu mention so that we can get into prayer in verse 13 bibi anasema verse 13b understand the nature of god as you pray Mujueni tabia na taratibu ya Mungu wakati mnaomba. Ukiomba ni lazima ujue unaomba Mungu wa aina gani. Number one inasema he is gracious. Mungu ni wa neema. Ni neema ama ni rehema? Neema. Bwana asifiwe sana. God is gracious. 
Gracious ni kusema kuna mambo Mungu atakupea si kwa vile uliomba sana but because it is his nature. Praise the name of the Lord. So omba kwa kwa bidii, omba kwa imani. Maana Mungu ni gracious. Namba 2 anasema ni compassionate. Compassionate ni Mungu ambaye anahurumia watu. Mungu anaweza kukuangalia hivi, aone vile maisha iko kile kimekupeleka, akuhurumie, akugeuzie mambo. Praise the name of the Lord. I wish I had more time to talk about these things. Throw to anger. Eh, yeye yeah, hakasiriki kwa haraka. Mungu hana ile hasira ya wepesi. Hasira tu anawakisha hapana. Mungu ni mwenye huruma. Eh, anasema jambo lingine he is loving. Praise the name of the Lord. Overflowing in gracious love. Yaani Mungu anapenda. Na Mungu ni mwenye upendo. Hilo ni neno linastahili kuwa katika moyo wako. So that when you approach God, you don't approach God like somebody who has no eh, ni kama Mungu tu nikuje kwake ata atijui kama atanipiga sijui kama ataniua a, a, Mungu ni mwenye huruma na mapenzi upendo wake umepita hukumu yake Bwana asifiwe sana and the bible says of all other things and grieves about it yeye hugeuka kutoka kwa mabaya hata wakati Mungu amesema hii nyumba itaangamia hii familia itapitia hapa huyu mtu atayaona mambo haya god can still turn from evil Anaweza geuka. Unaweza geuza Mungu. Unaweza geuza hukumu. Unaweza geuza mapigo. Unaweza geuza mabaya ambayo yamepangwa kinyume cha maisha yako. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. I wish ningekuwa na muda kidogo wa kuendelea kukuelekeza kwa sababu maneno haya e, ni maneno mazito. Lakini maybe ni kusomee mustari wake wa 32. Hmm? as we finish kwa sababu ya muda and everyone who calls upon the name of the lord will be delivered for as the lord has said in mount zion in jerusalem there will be those who escape the survivors whom the lord is calling bwana amesema eh kila aliitiaye jina na bwana ataokolewa mahali pengine inasema whosoever calls on the name of the lord shall not be put to shame mtu yule aliitiaye jina na bwana hata aibishwa Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Aliitiaye jina la Bwana ataokoka. Wapendwa, wakati unaliitia jina la Bwana, unasema Mungu si unisaidie. Mungu si uniondolee hiki. Mungu si unipiganie hapa. Mungu si unipe kile. Hakuna aliitiaye jina la Bwana atakaye aibika. Na asubuhi eh, 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 ni adhuhuri ama inaitwangwa nini? Ara eh? Sasa hii ni saa ngapi Kiswahili? Kiswahili kimepotea. Ina, afternoon inaitwa nini? Adhuhuri. Oh, mulisoma kidogo ilikuwa imepotea. So adhuhuri ya leo ninataka tuombe Mungu. Na Mungu aliyesema tukimuita hatutaaibika. Kuna aibu zitatuondoka siku ya leo. How many are ready to push shame out of their lives? Bwana asifiwe sana. Mumeshika mambo yale ambayo tumeongea habari yake. Hebu nikurudishe nyuma tumesema namba one katika maombi yale ambayo ni necessary it is a prayer of repentance wapendo wa leo nataka tutubu dhambi na makosa eh na nieleze kwa nini jambo hili nataka tufanye na tufanye with sincerity mnaona dunia vile imekaa nyinyi mnaona ikiwa nomo hii dunia iko nomo saa hii iko nomo tagulini mkaona weather imeanza Mwa, miezi mingapi huu ni mwezi wa tatu unaisha eneo hili letu the, 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 hata katika taifa halina mvua mwezi wa tatu unaisha mvua ya mwisho nzuri isipokuwa wale wako hapa within ruiru ilinyesha siku ingine mvua ya mwisho nzuri ilinyesha mwezi wa ngapi wa tano chakula hata wale wamevuna wamevuna chakula ya kukuzwa na baridi si mvua Bwana asifiwe sana. Baridi imezidi. Hata leo si unaona watu na kabuti hapa na masweta. Hawajavaa kwa sababu ya kupenda ni baridi. Huu ni mwezi wa ngapi? Wa tisa. Mwezi wa tisa huwa wakati wa nini? Wajua kiangazi huku kwetu. Sasa niambie, mnaona dunia imekaa namna gani? Ukitoka hapa enda Europe, ukutane na, ba, na joto ambayo imepita kiwango. Joto ile inapaswa kuwa Afrika imehamia Europe imeua watu imechoma misitu imechoma manyumba kuna mahali nilikuwa nasoma one time in the US 
muji wa watu 1012 uliteketea na siku moja frat mtu kila mtu anarudi kujenga hata unajenga nini hatujui kama ni watu wa hame milele ama ni nini angalieni tumekuja na vaccine tudungwe ili tuachane na hii ugonjwa ugonjwa ni kuisha inaisha ama ni kuongezeka ni nini mbaya na sisi hatuelewi ya kwamba hii vitu si normal maisha haiko kawaida dunia haiko mahali inakuwa imetingizwa for those of us who are here in the morning tuna neno tulisomewa Isaiah 24 dunia imetingizwa watu wote wanafanana mkubwa na mdogo wanafanana praise the name of the lord sasa tumeenda e, tukaambiwa tukidungwa ya kwanza tutakuwa sawa wakasema ya kwanza haitoshi tuongezwe ya pili ukiongezwa ya pili bado unahitaji kanini kabusta ya tatu sasa saa hizi tunaongea there is a new variant in south africa as we talk sijui nimesikia nayo inaitwa nini bwana asifiwe sana sasa ni, ni waulize ita, ita, itaenda hivyo mpaka lini wapendwa Mungu anajaribu kuongea wanadamu sisi tunamuonyesha Mungu wewe haujui vizuri tutatengeneza dosi nyingine madawa imekuja hebu tangu tuanze mulizikia madawa zikitangazwa zile zinaponya corona e, dawa fulani sijui zingine zilikuwa za malaria sijui zingine za nini mmesikia zikitajwa hizo dawa zilienda wapi sababu badala ya tukunywe madawa tupone tunaendelea tunaendelea walioshikwa na ile ya kwanza hata hii ya mwisho bado inawashika wapendwa Mungu anajaribu kusema wacheni kukimbizana na mimi rudini kwangu katika kutubu badala ya tutubu sisi ni wajuaji mimi nimekataa ujuaji nataka kutubu Bwana Yesu asifiwe let us repent and repent genuinely tuwabie Mungu nisamehe na wapendwa tuombe msamaha kwa dhambi na makosa ya taifa makosa na dhambi za dunia watu watu si mnaona vile tunakaa eh na mwaka huu kukiwa vile unajua kuna uchokozi mnachokoza Mungu mpaka Mungu anafika mahali anasema ni Mungu wetekia mtaona mwaka huu kukiwa hivyo na rasia 2020 na 2021 kuna group ambao inajiita the pride group hawa ni magays malesbians wametokea mwaka huu ndio wamefanya the biggest ever maandamano ya haki zao wanajiita sijui the rainbow whatever sasa hiyo tunapigwa, tunateswa, wengine ndio na sisi tunatokea tunauliza Mungu, Mungu utafanya nini? Tukiamua kuwa mashoga, utafanya nini? Yaani wewe Mungu usiukae na biashara zako mbinguni uachane na dunia. Hivyo ndivyo dunia ilivyo. Wapendwa, it is time for us to repent and repent genuinely. Tukikosa kutubu, hii kitu si kupungua itapungua ni kuongezeka. Hata nchi zile zilikuwa zimeshinda, nchi kama New Zealand, nchi kama Australia they were very good Singapore Malaysia and some other countries waliweza kufanya kazi kubwa sana wali lock down inchi kama Uganda ambazo zilikuwa zimepiga eh, eh, vita vizuri sana inchi kama Ethiopia inchi kama Rwanda saa hizi tunapoongea milipuko imetokea ya kipekee are we talking about a genuine situation this is not an ordinary situation people should repent and turn to God am i talking to somebody prayer of repentance Number two is the prayer of relationship with the God. Wapendo hebu tuwabie Mungu nataka kuwa na wewe. Nataka nikujue, nishikamane na wewe. Mungu niwe na wewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi nimechoka kuhesabu marafiki wale nimepoteza. Nimechoka. Na inaudhi. Inakaa vibaya. Wakati ukikakaa kidogo jirani. Jana nilijaribu kuangalia nikashindwa. Nikitaka kuandika pole nitaandikia nani? maana marafiki baba nani 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 nikafika mahali nikaona sitaandika chochote because nitasema nini nitawaambia watu nini ni kitu gani tutafanya wapendwa the time is come we must look at these things in a different way pray for your relationship with god hii dunia niwaambie hivi where in the times of pandemics pandemics destroy both the evil and the good mapigo huwa watu wazuri na wabaya Omba Mungu uhusiano wangu na wewe usikatike. Niwe nitateseka. Magonjwa ya yazidi, mateso yazidi, economic status change. Mungu nisiondoke kwako. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Nisibadilishane ufalme wako na chochote katika maisha. And number three, nimesema habari ya warfare prayer. Can we fight? Can we pray for divine 
vigilance mbele za, za, za Mungu na maroho ile ambayo inatupinga tuombe kwamba Mungu atatupigania maadui ambao wanajaribu kutupinga wataondolewa so that we can have our deliverance and also pray for provisions praise the name of the lord and for protection bwana asifiwe sana si tunaweza gawanya hizi vitu ni mambo matano mnaweza kubali tuyaombe yakiwa kila jambo kivyake so that we give ourselves to prayer and pray accordingly na ukitoka hapa wapendwa nimesema casual prayers weka chini tuingie katika kufunga na kuomba bwana yesu asifiwe tuombe kuliko vile tume, tumeomba na tukimaliza hapa tutachagua angalau kila mtu si wiki hii ujichagulie siku mbili za maombi siku mbili tu wachana na nyingi mbili tu uweke ni za maombi uweke useme bwana nitajitenga na mambo ni kuombe niombe familia yangu niombe watoto niombe mali zangu niombe mabiashara zangu jina la bwana libarikiwe watu wengi biashara tumefunga kazi tuliacha hata ukiongelesha watu wamekufa moyo watu wanaona dunia ni kama kuisha inaisha na ni kweli hii ni kuisha inaisha lakini wapendwa we can be delivered sinu waliokoka na watu wanane wa familia yake we will pray and god will deliver us praise the name of the lord simama kwa miguu yako nataka kuwaaga walio kwenye mtandao kwa sababu hatutaweza kupita na nyinyi hapo tunataka kuwaombea ya kwamba na wewe pia ingia katika maombi mambo hayo matano repent eh uh-huh. pray for your relationship with god fight for yourself your family your wealth your resources eh pigana na magonjwa kama haya na huku mbele hata yale yatatokea pray for provisions and eventually pray for divine protection upon yourself and your family jina la bwana libarikiwe mimi nataka tu kwa sababu ya muda asante sana mungu awabariki sana so ninataka tuingie katika maombi na nataka kugawanya hizi